Welcome Gemini to your in-depth weekly forecast for week commencing the 1st of April for the Ascendant, the Sun or the Moon. On the screen now I'm sharing your event chart for the start of the week. We need to be mindful of your ruler Mercury. It is going to go into retrograde later on on Monday but it forges a really bright alliance with the Moon in your sector of relating. You may hear from a friend this week that you haven't heard from for a while, but Neptune, right at the top of your chart in the part of your situation to do with your work and worldly interactions, that's actually in a much more challenging right angle to Neptune. So perhaps Mercury going into retrograde is going to make it more difficult to keep the lines of communication really clear. The link with the moon can be positive, but in terms of your professional situation, things could seem a little bit murky, I would say. Perhaps even by the end of this week, it could be a little bit of a battle of wills, but I'll explain more about that shortly. But the other energy in the sign of Aries is asking you to think, seriously think, about your long-term future. Your wider alliances, your social situation, the groups that you're invested in, the things that really give you a sense of identity that's beyond the material. And yet that cluster of energy in the sign of Pisces includes Venus and the part of fortune, suggesting that maybe something can develop in terms of a job offer, an application, or developing your own business that could please you. So quite a lot of contrasting energies at the start of this week. But by Wednesday, Venus moves forward and is in an exact conjunction with Neptune. If you are a creative, if you are someone who uses flair and artistry in your work, or, or conversely, you're a very compassionate and caring person, or you use your senses in order to guide other people, the combination between Venus and Neptune can, can be very sweet indeed. And you could find that you're going to be able to showcase your talents in a very, uh, a very special way. But by Friday, that is definitely the most powerful day of the week because Venus joins up with the collective in Aries of Mercury, Chiron, the North Node and the Sun. But Venus is technically not at its best in the sign of Aries, but if there is a hope you have, or there is someone that you're drawn to, perhaps even romantically, in your friendship group, it's going to give you a bit more daring through to the 29th of the month, but also immediately there is a connection to Pluto. Pluto in the part of your situation to do with widening your horizons, higher education, big knowledge, knowledge that's helping you to decode the meaning of life. Maybe there's a connection between that desire and the type of person or people that you're going to be drawn towards. But also the advancing sun meets the retreating north node for the first time since 2006, also on Friday. And that's what I meant when I said earlier in the video that you're going to be thinking about your long-term future I feel, and your connections, your network. And maybe Mercury retrograde is all part of revisiting your thinking around, around those areas. Because we can become rather conditioned to a particular outlook. And it's good actually to flow and be flexible. You teach us as a sign the need for uh, that more than any other sign, I'd say. But your dexterity can, can obviously see at times you may be lacking a, a little bit of focus because there are so many different people and situations you can just dip in and out of. And I feel that what you're being asked to do with this collective at the end of this week is really contemplate very, very seriously how you could elevate your soul almost into a uh, into a dimension of being or connections with others that really, really lifts you. And because Mars comes into contact with Saturn over the weekend, this is the aspect that I hinted about earlier in the week. If in your professional situation, 
you're working in an organisation which is very hierarchical, very unbended, where someone is very authoritative, it will be done as they say. It's not very collegiate. That could be such a turn off for you and that can feed into this wider perspective that you could be developing. So you could have a, a massive breakthrough with Venus's combination to Neptune in terms of showcasing your gifts and talents. But I feel the long term, the people you're really connecting to that are important, the principles that drive you essentially really come sharply into focus because the sun applies to Chiron towards the end of this week and also becomes exact at the start of the following week. And if there is something where uh, you're coming into contact with authority and people see a situation differently to you or they feel you've tried to live outside a structure which isn't acceptable to them anymore, you could be held to account for some of your past actions because the sign of Pisces is very much about the cumulative outcome of all our actions because Saturn does that. It can be very much about... Um, fate in a way so whatever we've uh, created we will eventually reap and mars applying to that could create a lot of tension as this week draws to a close and that's why you may have to realign your long-term thinking in some kind of way whether it's this week or over the next six months in a way that you're really starting to see more and more uh, by the end of this week i feel it's been a real pleasure being with you, Gemini. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great week. And if you could, I'd be honoured if you would like, comment, share or subscribe.